agree with Rob Booker, creator of the Trifecta system. Rob, thank you very much for being with us. Be very welcome. It's my pleasure. Okay, Rob, let's uh, let's explore a little bit of um, the market the, with the current conditions, with high volatility levels, uh, a lot of uncertainty about Greece, what's going on with the default, is it going to, to right. leave the Eurozone or not? How we as traders position ourselves in order to not suffer too much? Well, I, I get into trouble sometimes when I begin to make a prediction about an uncertain event. So I start to think, oh, Greece will never leave. Or suddenly I think, oh, Greece is going to leave. And then I, I change my system, I change my outlook, and everything goes wrong. So for me, it's important for me to remember I have a system, and I have a trading philosophy, and I have a method. I don't really care what happens to Greece. I don't really care if Greece defaults. What I care about is, do I manage my risk properly, and I'll just take my very next setup. So sometimes I'm gonna buy the euro. Sometimes I'm gonna sell the euro. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to spend any time trying to predict what they're going to do. It's a waste of time. So you recommend uh, to the traders that are viewing this interview to not waste their time with um, listening to the news or? Well, they can listen to the news, but trying to make a forecast or telling ourselves a big story. Like, I'm gonna take a big trade selling the euro because it's just a mess. And that's just a story that we make up. And in the end, maybe that story doesn't come true. So I have a trading system. And my trading system says, buy some days, sell some days. So I just take my buy trade, I take my sell trade, I take my profit and I get out. I don't, the news can be interesting. The news can be dangerous but I still have to trade my system. But how, how to deal with the pressure if our system fails? Well, it all fails. It always fails. There's, there's no guarantee system. There's no guaranteed system. So when, I, when I'm losing money, I close it. When so I you go out, out yeah. in the market? Yeah, so I just, um, I, I don't think I'm very smart. I don't think I know more than other people. And I feel very lucky when I make money. And so when I make money, I feel lucky and I close my trade. When I'm losing money, I don't feel smart enough and you to close figure it out. So I just anyways. close it. Because I'm not smart enough to figure it out. So not to be greedy yeah. is, is Yeah, a good and not advice. to be afraid. And not to be afraid. Some traders are afraid that they don't know enough. Or they don't, they don't know what's going to happen to Greece. Well, nobody knows. Nobody knows. And not so, even them, right? <laughs> not even that. Well, especially them, they don't even know. So I'm going to go to Athens, Greece on Monday, and I'm going to trade from Greece. <laughs> I'm just going to go to Greece and I'm going to go swimming, and I'm going to go <laughs> swimming in the Mediterranean. I'm going to take my trades, and I'm going to try to remember that nobody knows. We, can, we know how much we lose. It's, we, we can only control our risk. And so as long as I control my risk, everything's okay. Okay, let's change a little bit our subject and let's talk about the euro dollar. Yeah. How do you see the currency per um, now? It seems that it's not, it's undecided whether to go up or down. Uh, it seems possible at the same time to reach uh, 1.04 and or at the same time to go high yeah. to 1.20. What do you think? So I think that the story of the euro dollar is not necessarily only about Greece. A lot of traders told themselves a story, and the story was like this. They said, oh, the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates. That's the story. And the euro fell and fell and fell, and the dollar was growing stronger and stronger and stronger. And then suddenly the, Federal Re the, the data was not very strong, and the euro started rising, and it was shocking. Everyone was so surprised. And that entire time, I just have a system. Nice. And right now, right now, my trading system says that I should be buying the euro. Not because of the Federal Reserve and not because of the Eurozone and not because of the crazy Greek finance minister. That guy looks creepy. That guy looks very scary. My, my system says 
we are likely headed to 1.15. So I'll buy, and, I'll, and if I lose, I'll close it quickly. But that's where I'm looking. I'm looking to buy the euro right now. Looking, and any other favorite currency for at, at Well, the I, actually, I actually don't even really like the euro. <laughs> I don't even like it. Um, I like the dollar Mexican peso. I have been buying the dollar Mexican peso since the beginning of the year. I love the exotic currencies. Dollar Mexican peso, dollar Norwegian krone, uh, dollar Swedish krona, uh, the, uh, the Turkish lira. I love these currencies. No one looks at these currencies. And they're all very technically obedient. They fall to a support level and they stop. They rise to a trend line and they stop. I love them. So I trade, I trade uh, dollar Mexican peso every day on a five minute chart, just one or two times. I love the exotic currencies. They're so much fun. Are you also uh, combining other financial assets with currencies in your system? I trade stocks. I trade US stocks. I have a stock portfolio with Trifecta. And it's very simple. We wait for earnings announcements. And then we wait for the first Knoxville divergence, which is an indicator that I built. We wait for the first Knoxville divergence after earnings. And then we trade it. At some point in the UK market, do you have any stocks that you like right now in the UK FTSE? Um, no, I don't look at anything. I don't look at anything so in England. Only, only US, US stocks? Only United States, yeah. Nothing yeah. in Europe? Nothing in Europe, nothing at all. Yeah, I think though with quantitative easing in Europe, it's very easy to see that the possible trend in European stocks is up. It's very possible. It's very, right now would be a nice time to think about leaving American stocks mm -hmm. and buying European stocks because all that money goes into the European banking system and traditionally the banks take that money and they buy stocks. Okay, so we are going to keep this idea. Yeah. Look for, look to buy European stocks right now with, well, that's an advice from Rob Booker, creator of the Trifecta system. Thank you very much, Rob. And one last question before sure. you leave about the Forex Day is the, oh, yeah. the second year that you come here to, to Spain right. for this event. What do you think? Uh, have you noticed any difference from in the public, for example, in the assistance from the last year to this year? So I just love traders. I love traders. and You're one of them. <laughs> yeah. So I love people that trade in the markets. It's just a... Uh, this is a happy family of people who are ready to learn and who are excited to uh, take risk. I, I, they're just the best people in the world. I, love, I, I just love spending time with traders. Okay, Rob, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank we you. love spending time with you. <laughs>